In this video, we're going to do a quick walkthrough of the home screen. So after you've logged into the software, what are you going to see or what does it all mean? So quickly, uh, working on the left-hand menu bar, there's a bunch of stuff over here. What's really important to you? A couple of things. Obviously, this is your main menu. Uh, whenever you're somewhere in the program and you want to get back to this screen, you just click this main menu button and boom, you're right back to this home screen. The client status function, this allows you to search for an existing client in your program, see if the return's been transmitted, see if the return is accepted, rejected, uh, what the reject code is, and uh, some other basic uh, tax return statistics or information related to that file. All right. These uh, next four or five are really just access to frequently used um, research materials or you need to figure out an uh, IRS mailing address and bam it's right there you can see whether you need to send it to Austin or Fresno or wherever the heck you need to send it to all right the refund calculator this guy is uh, fantastic this is your estimator tool these are other things that we've added here just as quick links you may or may not see them in the updated version of your program but they're quick links the uh, again the refund calculator is a fantastic tool. Um, everything else is just a quick link that can be modified um, depending on which software you're, you're logging into. The message center. Uh, this is the ability for you to communicate with your preparers or your colleagues. Um, this is also where if you're using the review functionality built into the software and you're submitting your returns for review, you as a preparer would be notified whether or not your returns have been approved or they've uh, been failed and who the client is and why the reviewer failed that return. Rejected clients is obviously exactly what it is, the way for you to quickly see what clients of yours are in rejected status. Starting a new return is exactly what it means. As you can see, we've got brief descriptions of what each menu item or what each option uh, is for there. The other item that's important here is client search. If you need to access an existing client file, you need to go back in there and maybe finish some things up, add some notes, add scanned documents, etc. You're going to go ahead and use this client search. We'll go into further detail in uh, subsequent videos. All right, reviewing returns. Now, uh, this is for individuals that in your office are responsible for review decisions. And just a quick caveat, depending on your security permissions, you may or may not see these items. If you're not a manager, then there you're not going to touch configuration and transmissions and the other stuff. So you may just see uh, start tax return and client search, which is perfect because why do you want to see a bunch of other junk that's not relevant to you? All right. And uh, to access these items, you simply click on select. To get in and get going very very simple so that's how you navigate the front page main menu gets you back home client status lets you check on your clients what's going on with them the refund calculator helps you see uh, instead of wasting a ton of time with somebody that's just shopping around click on the refund calculator bam you're ready to go the message center allows you to communicate with your manager or your preparers 